What the f***? There's literally a new ban list. Well, I didn't even get to do any of my ban list content. No! The money's slipping through my fingers. Oh, everyone, 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 everyone. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 pretend we just concluded Masochist and, uh, 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 uh True Draco won, okay? Oh my god! How could this happen? Oh, what monetizable anger coming from my temples! Oh no! The only thing that would frustrate me more than being wrong is if you all watched to the end and clicked all the ads! Oh shit! Oh go golly gosh darn it, G Willikers! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Okay, ban list out, I guess. Ban list out. So here's what I'm expecting from the ban list. Nothing. There's nothing wrong in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. This is why I'm a, I'm surprised there's a ban list. Um, every single deck that is a top strategy, I find uh, defensible. I think they're all cool. Uh, I don't really have a problem with anything. Um, it frustrates me that Maxi is legal in Master Duel. I would say probably what I would like to see is a lot of unhits. There's a lot of cards that could safely come off, and there's no like YCSs during the December season anyway, so pretty safe time to be bringing garbage back. You can always course correct once people start traveling to events again. And of course, you know, um, I would also like to see some of the problem cards that I just generally don't like sawn off the edges of the format. Turns out Centurion's not very powerful, but I'd still like Hot Red Dragon. Dragon Archfiend King Calamity killed, for instance. Um, man, that's just rough. Pot of Greed to three. Uh, the one thing that I think w I would like to see curbed from a top list is if this is the ban list that will be in effect for the release of uh, that Primordial Princess card, there does need to be a Rescue Ace hit. Um, but it feels weird to do because Rescue Ace is just sort of a good deck. Uh, it, taking some of its teeth out would be weird. Um, so let's see what we got. Forbidden. Oh! I'm okay. Uh, so, um, what? Did Josh get one wish as the result of winning the YCS? Like a, like a genie came out of a bottle and was like, What is your desire, Mr. Schmidt? And he went... Oh my god, I hate Circular. I would die to kill Circular. Um, when you yelled, Sadie jumped off the bed and ran upstairs. Oh my god, Sadie, thank you for checking on me. She's Unfortunately, the worst thing ever has happened. They've banned my boy Circular. Oh. That, okay, so like... She feels really sad for you. Circular is certainly a card that did too much. I'm not going to pretend like this card wasn't insanely powerful. But I think that the decks and strategies that it enabled were very beatable, very fine to exist. They were fun to play with and against. God, I didn't know doing the fucking DC Cup this weekend was going to be the last time I ever take this card seriously. I'd, uh, Agito and Kelbeck, I mean, go fuck yourself, man. We just aren't allowed to have anything fun. We spent all morning watching fucking Light Sworn replays uh, where people were milling Agito and Kelbeck to actually make the deck work. You can throw that all out the window now. Now we have no Chaos Ruler, no Agito, no Kelbeck, no way to mill five. Uh, certainly this makes Tier Limit a lot less powerful. Tier Limit, one of the top decks right now, finally in a state where it's in line with other strategies. No, no, you can't get it, get it twisted. And uh, I sold Two Tales of the Noble Knights. Okay, that one's actually fine. That that card should have been banned like 19 years ago. It's strange because it's not really in anything outside of Infernoble, and unless your name is Pack, you know you're not seeing results with that strategy. But I, uh, this is a card with with a with a time bomb attached to her, and glad to see that it's finally exploded. Um, it, it, you you can't print Link Twos that summon a card from deck, and you should stop right now. Um, I, I choose to believe that the reason that they banned this was because of Jeff Leonard. Um, so congratulations, Jeff. Uh, you did it. <laughs> Next up. Oh. Uh, mm, ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. Uh, whoa! A lot going on here. 
Let's start at the top, Orcus Tarpor. I do not like this. I don't like Orcus being available. I think there's a lot of strategies that can splash a chill Orcus engine that I don't want to see do it. That said, this isn't going to impact the mana in any sort of reasonable way. Harpor to one is fine. I think it's a three in Master Duel and no one plays the strategy because it's ass. Red Ox to one. I think we were all kind of expecting that the Dragon Rulers would slowly be removed from the ban list as they all came off in Master Duel. The most scary of the Dragon Rulers is Tidal. It has the most homes and has the best generic effect. Red Ox is a bad Vern self so completely fine to have that as well airlifter uh suck my fucking dick and balls mr konami why would you do this why would you do this to me airlifter is such a frustrating hit as well because while airlifter is an incredibly powerful card and you can expect that you um will play less rescue ace as a result of this list because airlifter is so integral to uh, the strategy. It's necessary to get a lot of your combos off to the races. There exists a mechanism to get to combo regardless, and it's the Diabell Star stuff. So the only way you can play the deck now is by shelling out $900 for Diabell Star in a deck that otherwise did have budget options. That's so annoying. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Sharvara. That's good. Sharvara should have been at zero. Um, the fact that this deck gets to dodge a bunch of targeted negation is really frustrating. Uh, now Sharvara is a card that you'll have to plan to search rather than open and just like have over the course of your turn um but unless there's more unchained hits unchained still seems pretty crazy after this sun avalon dryas and healer shouts out to jess uh this is all you're doing um I, <laughs> it's also really funny because like oh god it's the second dryas that gets you oh jesus uh it means now like effect veiler actually does just win the game against this strategy uh more than it already did which is uh you know definitely annoying uh healer being on here by the way is so funny Healer is like the funniest hit in the history of time. Like, the obvious limit, if you're going to start limiting Link monsters from the Sun Avalon deck, is Aroma Seraphy, right? Because there's no hard ones per turn on that card. Uh, but instead, they were like, no, get the card that gains life points, and you do play more than one healer, right? Okay. Ebe the World Chalice Justicar. I'm going to go out on a limb here. This card's fine. This is one of those cards that we didn't even unban in shit like, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, in Masochist, because there is a lot going on with it. Uh, it's very funny that she's back at a time when Danglong isn't. Is Danglong still illegal in TCG? I think so, right? Um, but, uh, Danglong is at one. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, Eve is a really good card, and she enables a lot of really good combos. But none of those combos stand up to scrutiny anymore, and they also are all kind of enabled by cards that are now on the ban list. Um... This card is going to be okay, but people are going to try and do degenerate shit with it, of course. Snatch Steel. Um. This is fine. It's annoying, for sure, and it's really funny that they're like... Oh, we fucking released Snatch Deal off the ban list in 2013 and it ruined a format. Let's do it again. Uh, but this is completely fine. Um, there's like some Makonko reasons that it might see play. But with Change of Heart at 1 currently seeing literally zero play, I don't think that this is going to be like too big of a stretch. It's just a Change of Heart that also happens to die to MST. Um... The reason I would not want this card to be legal is because you can search it with Makanko getting rain out. <laughs> so, or not Makanko, uh, I sold getting rain out. Uh, so, you know, now that that's off the uh, the 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 table. Uh, goes in rivalry and Boo. This rocks. This is uh, really good. Um. I mean, I, ideally, I would like to see all of these cards sent to the nether zone. I would like to see them treated the way that uh, 
Skull Servant is being treated on the art of Teak Boo. But, uh... Yeah, these cards shouldn't exist. And the reason they shouldn't exist, of course, has a lot to do with the fact that they're frustrating to play against. You know, um, you can plan as much as you want for this strategy by placing cards in your extra deck that specifically out them. But depending on which one your opponent has drawn, the outs become completely different. So it's impossible to plan for all of them and they feel super sacky. The number one reason they should be banned is because they're clairvoyant. They're so fucking frustrating to explain to players who don't have uh, textbook familiarity with them. And the fact that you have to get that type of knowledge, you can't intuit it whatsoever, is so frustrating. Frustrating. These cards don't do what they say on them and should be banned for that reason. Uh, just like pole position was, you know, I just hate it. Um, get them out of here. Kill them. Um, but unfortunately, uh, you know, um, this also is a testament to what happens in Joe Brandon's America, uh, where you can actually be stopped by the TSA and put on the limited list just for, you guessed it, being a white. Uh, next up. Oh my god. Whoa. This is like... Th this is three really scary ones. Um, so Dino Wrestler Pancratops has seen a non-zero amount of play. Uh, it helps that it was being played alongside Lightning Storm, usually, usually a card that's semi-limited uh, to like fill out this third slot. But Pancratops is a really powerful card, and we'll see even more play now that it's a two copies. I think it suffers from that condition that cards that are limited but powerful usually do, which is people don't pay attention to them until there's two copies of them. I don't know why, um, but Pancratops is really strong. And if Unchained, uh, as a result of the Sharvara limit, becomes less popular, it's going to be much more strong. It just trades for so much, especially against these, like, Rescue Ace boards, for instance. Like, oh, you're going to use the Pop Trap on it? I guess I'll chain it and get a second guy. Um, yeah, really, really good card. Um, excited to see more of it. Uh, Speedroid Terror Top at 2. I think is fine. Um, another one of those cards that despite being limited, uh, will now see more play because they're at two, but like a two, one Garnet ratio with a uh, Taka Tomborg feels a lot more defensible. There's a lot of decks that want a three, uh, a lot of decks that are about to come out that want a three, the Gobos, for instance. Um, but even before Gobos, I mean, Invoker is legal, right? There's like some fun stuff you can do with threes. I know Gage will like it because he's playing punks everywhere. It's, um, it's cool. Uh, pearly Sleepy Memory to two seemed kind of, um, inevitable. I was expecting them to hit Sleepy Memory in some capacity. It was either going to be to one to, from, uh, three to one or three to two. Uh, two is interesting because it, it puts you in this position where, like, you can never guarantee it off of the, uh, Mi Amigo, but, like, you still probably go for it off the Mi Amigo because you have a better chance than not of getting the card. Uh, but, you know, there's still a lot you can do. Like, if you get to a position where you're not able to get Sleepy, you can reveal Sleepy, Sleepy, Per Leap. And then just, like, if you get the Per Leap, you use the Per Lily to target something else and you get to Noir anyway. Like, it's a type of semi-limit that, like, despite downing the consistency of a strategy and removing some plays from it, um, will just mean that some games you have a less explosive setup, which is fine. It's okay. Um... And the, the frustrating part about uh, Pearly, in my opinion, wasn't the big towers. Uh, you know, if they ever got to the big towers, it felt like they won. But, you know, that's true for a bunch of combo decks. Um, and now that they uh, use um, Little Noir to get to the trap and make the towers, you know, sometimes it's not even a towers. The frustrating part about this deck was drawing six. Um, when, when people would draw six uh, using, like... Uh, you know, Lil Noir in the standby phase, then Leap, and then uh, Big Noir for an additional three, then you felt like you were just boned. Like, no matter what you did, your opponent was going to untap with nine cards in their hand. And now they can only draw four, which is different. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, thank God. Okay, a lot of these are fine. Um, some are ridiculous, but a lot of them are fine. Uh, Infernity Archfiend to three is just so far for Pog in a thumbnail. Cashier Unicorn to three is... Oh, thank God they reversed that. Um, certainly this card didn't need to be on the ban list at all after Arise Heart was hit. 
Uh, but I hate these fucking cash tier hits that just down the consistency of a deck that's already so fundamentally inconsistent. It's so annoying. Uh, it just makes the deck so unfun to play. Um, you know, this maybe makes some of the individuals who are not playing cash tier consider playing cash tier, which is cool. I mean, I think uh, the version of cash tier that exists now is fine. It's completely defensible. Um, I think cash tier unicorn also has some utility in some decks that aren't cash tier as just like a seven body that can replenish itself, right? It's a seven that gets birth and then converts into another seven later uh it's like um tacaton borg but for seven stars um mind con this card is actually quite frightening um uh, mind con is really really good um with mind con at three and snatch deal at one and change of heart at one i think there's going to be a lot of decks that are considering playing that five card package and just like eating your guy um but uh you know, this, this card was put to one for a reason. Uh, that reason had a lot to do with the fact that a lot of power was concentrated into singular cards during that format. Things like Thunder Dragon Colossus and taking a Sky Striker Link obviously wins you the game on the spot. Uh, here Now it's not really like that anymore, so <laughs> very happy to see that gone. Uh, funnily enough, I, I think that Mind Control would have been a real problem at 3 during an Arise Heart format, so thank God that we are way past that. Um, Pot of Desires at three. That's fine. They can't decide where they want this card. Um, I would like to see. I actually am um, schmoving onto the Master Duel hits where every good pot is at one. I think that that is like actually fine. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment. <laughs> Put Spellbook to four. It's not going to change shit. Sprite Starter back to three. Oh, thank God. I, I, I do like that they're cleaning up the dog shit semi-limited list. I, I think that what's happening is every six months they get a new intern that's like we're gonna use the semi-limited list uh don't do that uh, it's, it's so fucking annoying and upstart goblin of three is completely fine it's strange to say um the problem with these draw spells isn't that they uh they make decks too consistent the problem is if there's a critical mass of them there's like an unbeatable ftk deck that just draws its whole deck um, Upstart Goblin isn't going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. You would need, like, Upstart and Into the Void and Chicken Game and Terraforming and Pseudo Space. Like, oh, so many things at, at, at three all at the same time, as we learned in Masochist. Um, Upstart Goblin's also got a lot worse since the last time it was playable. Um, the fact that it, it's, it makes your deck a 37 card deck is, like, a pretty convincing reason to play it. Uh, but now... The consistency of your deck is all but a like a foregone conclusion. Every deck can play something like 9 or 12 starters, and much more important is your deck's ability to produce exactly a hand that has a starter, a defensive card that ensures your starter resolves, and two hand traps every single game. And Upstart Goblin is a card that could have been a hand trap, um, which is... Um, which is 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 hard to justify in this day and age. And a lot of the reason you don't see Upstart Goblin in a lot of decks. Uh, moreover, it's like Nombo with uh, Pot of Prosperity, which is like the best draw spell um, in the history of time, uh, means that I think I, I this is not going to see any play at all. Um, I don't know. So... <clears throat> How do I feel about this ban list? Well, it's a lot of changes for a format that didn't need any changes. Uh, <laughs> certainly, Makanko has gotten a lot worse, um, which sucks for them. Uh, Infernoble all but dead with the Ice Old hit. Um, but, you know, was always kind of a, a time that these cards were going to be gone forever. Um, really frustrated with the Circular ban. I don't understand why it was done. Um... And the Agito and Kelbeck hits take one of my favorite decks out behind the shed, which is uh, really frustrating. Um, that said, uh, there are some design principles being upheld within this list that do really resonate with me. I appreciate that the floodgates are finally going, you know, the way of the dodo. I appreciate uh, the way in which Pearly is being dealt with. I uh, think that uh, shaving as much off the semi-limited list as possible is extremely important because that thing makes no fucking sense. Um, I think Unchained is probably still good, even with one Charvara. I think Rescue Ace is probably still good, even with one Airlifter. Um, the decks that are kind of creeping around the edges of tiered playability, things like Bestial Runic Horus and uh, all that nonsense, I think it's so much better as a result of this list. Um, Centurion probably uh, is now a lot more playable. Uh, Labyrinth um, is... Something you can play if your name's uh, Ryan Yu. I think Monadium exists. But uh, I don't think that they are going to be so emboldened by a lack of uh, consistent tier limit play 
uh, that they're going to rise to the top tier. Um, yeah, really weird list at a time when I think none of us were expecting a list. And uh, I don't know. Hit the button.